yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. Well guys, I was just showing a buddy the F450 and the Razor setup. He was kind of interested in purchasing it. So I was like, hey, I'll drive it to you. Anyways, but welcome to the Brop Shop. Now, I got to give a shout out to Hold Hold On Ranch with the idea. I love the name of the idea. It wasn't me. It was Hold On Ranch. I came up with the idea. Saw it. I was like, it's it. That's it. So this is the new Power Sports name. Now, a couple of you guys are like, huh. What does BROP stand for? And because RCC, you know, stands for Rolling Cold Customs. Now, BROP stands for, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't stand for anything. Some of you guys are like, why, squad, why do you have to explain this? But some people, BROP is the true definition. Like, I looked it up on Google just to make sure, like, fully the best way to explain this. But BROP is the sound, like, mainly high revving engines make ATVs, snowmobiles, dirt bikes. When you're at, like, when you're, it's just pinned, it makes this sound. And a lot of people who ride and stuff will say, Brop, like Brop's the sound it makes. I can't do it good. Some people can do it good. So I was like, Brop Shop? Oh, that's perfect. I was like, that's perfect. Now, I don't know the Brop Shop or Brop Shop for now. I named Brop Shop. And then I came up. So, okay, this video is pretty much going to be customizing and walking you guys through the Brop Shop. Nothing crazy is going on in this video, but it kind of took us a while because Chandler. Chandler was the one that actually made this and customized this whole building for me. So huge shout out to him. I was kind of delayed a little bit. I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible, but I was a little delayed. So, okay, Brop Shop logo here on the wall. It's lit, it's literally lit up, which is just fantastic. Now I made this and this was like simple. All I did is like try to make like a little ramp here. And then I stole this, this is probably illegal, but I stole this, just this transparent image and just put it on top of there. So like it's a dude with a, Obviously, you can tell he's got a dirt bike and stuff, and he's trying to hit this jump, which he's probably not going to make it. You know, who knows? Um, would he make that? I think he'd make it. He might be able, He really had to have some speed there to make that. I feel like he's got to be higher up. But anyways, um, and then I just put, like, two A's in there. The Brop Shop. I think that looks pretty clean, in my opinion. I don't know. It's kind of cool logo. I literally took me, like, 20 minutes to... And then, okay, so also, we have the signs out front. Polaris, Can-Am... Yamaha because we have those Yamaha ATVs now uh, I probably because eventually there's probably gonna be like Honda mods in here So I could have put like Honda on there too most likely but I, I told Chandler just put those logos on Just did a fantastic job with this so parts and sales in here uh, We got two computers. It's got the squad logo here, and it's got the prop shop logo right on the, the PCs a oh yeah there by the way we of course we had to get apex gaming PCs we had to Got the squad discount code, 10% off. How could you not buy an Apex gaming PC? Also, dude, they were having a back to school sale. And even, I didn't even, I don't even go to school, but I, I still got the back to school sale too. So it was technically 20% off. 10% off for the back to school sale. Another 10% off using the squad discount code. And the, t he told me they're running it till August 30th too. So I maybe I'll buy some more PCs from him too. Who knows? Anyways, we got a vending machine. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. Oh, we should get some Rockstar. That'd be kind of cool if I like customize this to have like a Rockstar on there stuff. That'd be kind of neat. Okay, showroom floor. So this is going to be where the showroom is. We don't have anything in here right now, but this is showroom floor. And then I have all these doors along here. I'll show I guess I should, probably should have showed you guys the outside of the building a little bit. So here's like the repair shop slash customization area. It's sweet. These lifts. Oh, man. Okay, here. Check this out. So... There's so many different features you can do with it. First, let me put this puppy down. There we go. By the way, those of you guys who want farming, I know farming's coming tomorrow. Trust me. I want to get on that. Everybody's been loving farming. I just want to say that for those of you guys who are waiting for farming. Okay, a couple things. You can go narrower, narrower, or wider. Narrower. Um, narrower, or narrow. I can't even say it. Narrower or wider. So wider is like for a car, like a wide vehicle, and then you can go narrower or like an ATV or Razor. Actually, like a dirt bike. It'd be tough to fit a dirt bike on here. And then, also, you can go left and right, which is kind of cool. So if we have, like, a little ATV, it'll actually fit on here, which is kind of neat. See how I'm doing that? And then, also, you can put these away. It, you hit pack up, and they pack up along there, which is just awesome. And then these, there's some that will come over here, and you can just hit pack up or set up. Set up, and then these appear. See, these weren't here before. Sorry, accidentally keep doing that. 
and then now they're gone because I hit pack up, which is pretty darn cool. Um, so this is going to be sweet. And then I got, the, okay, the racks came in here, which can I fit a dirt bike on there? I don't know. On the top shelf, I could for sure fit something. And then all across here, yeah, maybe not. We're not going to really be able to fit anything up here besides like a dirt bike. Darn it. I was hoping we could fit something up here. Okay, we can't, but it's fine. And then there's one more place. Actually, well, I guess I didn't show you guys this. I didn't even know about this little contraption area over here. But this is an area to put things, I get. I, what is this, technically? It's basically an area to pull vehicles in. It's basically an alleyway, so you can you can pull vehicles in. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> that chainsaw is making me mad, man. Oh, I need to sell that thing. Anyways, you can pull vehicles in through here. And then, yeah, pull them out like this, I guess. Okay, and then the last thing is this, like, alleyway back here. So, like, you know, say we start getting a lot of repairs coming through. We don't have time to work on it. We don't have the staff to work on it. I can just pull my vehicle right through here or pull, like, the line of razors we have to work on right through here. It's some storage, basically. Right now, I got um, the Brop Shop Semi here and RCC Semi. It'll, it'll be a shared Semi. Brop Shop Semi and RCC Semi is what this is going to be used this is basically just for hauling anything so all these doors we have here now the one thing is so oh oh shoot so i got rid of this building obviously you guys know i got rid of the other building and we had like a little boat ramp so that you could exit the building um like but i don't know if i should do that again if you guys know what i mean for those of you guys who watch rcc you know what i mean i had this boat ramp and a door to the end of the building right here so that way if we were working on jet skis just back them right out of the building put them on the water like that um, but I don't, I could kind of cut out this to make like an alleyway all the way to here. It's not worth it though. We're going to leave it like that. Now check out what I did to RCC. I know I'm doing a ton of talking and a ton of walking around and we're not really doing anything, but the later half of the video, I plan to actually do stuff, customize, and I want to get this shop just fully done. I want to put a couple of ra razor, razors on the top too. So this building, I moved over. See, it was right here, but we need room for the brop shop over here. <laughs> I love saying that, dude. I love saying that. Anyways, we need room for the prop shop over here. So what I did is I like sold this building and then just scooched it over and combined it with the showroom building, which we still haven't like fully customized out. There's a couple vehicles in there, but I basically combined this building. So like from the sky view, if you're like a drone or helicopter, it looks like the two buildings are connected, which is cool. I, I, I think that looks good. Here, let me back up so you guys can see. Yeah, so the two buildings are connected, basically. But you guys are probably wondering, well, squad, isn't there a door on that side that will run straight into the building? What I did is I still left room for this exit, for this, so that we can still pull vehicles in and out over here. I think it worked pretty good. Um, I bet you there's a bush on the inside of that building, actually. That's the one thing. Calling it. Yeah, okay, so there's bushes on the inside. Actually, that looks kind of cool. Oh, besides the dump. The dumpster... I don't know, dumpster looks a little weird, but the bushes, it's tough to even notice. Okay, so the one thing is for customization, we don't have any customization in there yet. I could put a shop outside to customize things, but unfortunately, building's awesome, but there's no customization. So what I gotta do for now, I know it's kind of a killer, because that's like the whole thing of the service bay over there. You're supposed to be able to customize vehicles. What I gotta do now, I'm selling that thing. Okay, she sold. Finally, we don't have to deal with that anymore. But what I have to do is pull the razors up on here to customize them. And I'm going to get some razors on the roof. And I want that thing looking sweet up there. Dude, I'm always a big fan of this 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 color. And I think, like, like obviously, we, need, we're, we should plan on selling. But just for looks on top of the roof, this will look good. Obviously, let me change up those rims. The heck no, brother. We're not doing that. Um... Ooh, I, I, I'm still not a fan of the Rockstar Rams. I feel like they're old school, dude. I honestly feel like these are like 2008, 2010 type Razor Rams that like don't even, I don't know, if you know what I mean. I, you, you probably don't know what I mean. These, okay, these rims, these, not Polaris, okay, those look horrible with the green, but the customs look like a beefy rim that has, that like has utility, not utility, but like just dominates on the trail but still looks good. Yes, exactly. That's what I mean. Okay, this looks like it dominates on the trail. I mean, rims don't matter, but it still looks like a beefy rim that dominates on the trail, but still looks amazing. 
If we go over to the rock stars, this looks like you're just trying to drive around like the races and pick up like chicks in your racer. You're not even trying to race, you know, man. I <laughs> that's my opinion on that. I don't know. I'd never get these rock stars. Just my opinion. But hey, maybe some of you guys like them. Maybe some of you guys need some more chicks. With this razor, first things first, let's get rid of this muffled fart. And let's put a real exhaust on it. Ooh, oh, dope. I haven't even done something like that yet. A black and yellow. Black and yellow, man, with, I always love these rims, not the rock stars. Um, but I think it's the customs, yeah. So rim color, go a yellow rim color. Ooh. Ah, oh, that looks, that looks sweet, man. I like that. Okay, wait, what design color? Okay, we're class cat. So now, or cloth cat. There we go. Okay, now, now we got it. Wait, I, dude, I bet you I could go better, better black color. Jet black? No, 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 no. Black metallic. Yeah. Nope. So we put turbo on this puppy. New exhaust and new paint. He looks clean. By the way, in case you guys are new, that always does that. Just some, some of you guys who watch me a lot are used to that, but it always like, it never, oh shoot, holy crap, dude. She's got a lot of power. Oh my gosh. I just barely touched that thing, man. Okay, calm down, brother. Stop trying to hump the wall. Come on. There we go. Dude, this thing rips. Holy crap, dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know what, dude, I forgot about this. I haven't done, okay, I made this little jump just to start off the video, but man, how does this thing jump? Come on, come on, she's fast. Now, some of these probably should be on the showroom. I honestly think I should have these on the showroom, but I need some. I need something to bring people in, and so I think I'm gonna put these on top here. Now, I feel like I, I gotta have like a couple more razors on top or a couple more vehicles on top. Like if it's just like two razors, you know, it's not enough. I feel like we gotta have more. I gotta be buying more vehicles. So what we're gonna do is jump in the telehandler and lift these guys up. Unless, I guess another way I could do it is make a giant ramp. We could make a giant ramp, try to just jump the, that would be actually really cool. You know, dude, okay. Hey, if any monitors out there and they're trying to make these scenes like amazing for jumping, hear me out, okay? You have these razors. And you know, say we have a long jump and you, you know, uh, you're trying to balance it. So like, say we have a long jump and the razor, you, the razor tips back, it almost wheelies when you're in air off the jump. And what you can do is a modder could maybe have a button on it. So it adds like an imaginary weight to the front of it, like adds a hundred pounds. You hit R, keypad R, and in air, it adds a hundred pounds to the front of the vehicle. I don't know if that's possible, but I feel like that's a way to balance up the vehicle. Cause like, say I made this ramp here, right? I make a giant ramp that shoots straight up here and I try to land the razor flat. What's gonna happen is this is gonna straight up and it's just gonna wheelie. And it's gonna land right on its butt probably and land straight up. What I wanna do is have it like kind of balance out. So once I'm in air, I could hit R and keep adding weight to the front of the razor in air. And eventually that front would start diving forward. That That's literally just me dreaming. I'm thinking of an idea. I have no idea if that's possible though, but that'd be cool. Okay, here we go. They should be balanced enough to stick these forks right underneath. Lift up. There we go. Okay, buddy. Oh shoot, are we gonna be able to lift this high up? Oh, I don't know if we're gonna get all the way up there. Come on, man. No, it's, ah, oh, shoot. Okay, we need a loading ramp. I need to make some type of loading ramp on the side over here, or just basically a ramp. Here, I, I gotta make it on the back side, I guess, is what I gotta do. Let's make it on the back side here. This is gonna be basically a ramp to get vehicles up here. You know what, dude? If I'm making a ramp, man, I gotta make a ramp so I can land vehicles up there, but that's not realistic. I made a steep little ramp right here. Yeah. I don't know if the telehandler is going to pop a wheelie. This is for the telehandler. This is definitely not for the razor. The razor would not. You know what? I got to try one razor just for fun, man. Let's do it. 
Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work, but this is what I'm thinking, man. <laughs> it's gotta shoot right up there. I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work. That's pretty darn steep. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Let's see if she does it. Oh, dude, this is kind of, I'm kind of nervous for this. Here we go. Fly like a bird, stealing like a bee, brother. Oh, my. Oh, dude, I thought totally we were doing it. I saw that thing shoot up, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Are we doing it? Oh, man. I, that was smooth. Okay, here. I, I can get it. Okay, how about this, man? <laughs> are we going to make it? Here, let me get a better angle. So that's the angle. It's like, whoop. Straight up, that is pretty darn steep. And so many guys were like, did he just quote the movie Cars? I can't believe Squad just did that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, okay. We honestly don't need much speed going up to it. Like, I can just... This thing has so much low-end torque. I can just give it right here. Oh, shoot. Land it. Oh. Okay, maybe we don't need a telehandler. This is perfect. So what I'm going to do is try to hit it a little faster... So I can completely land this. And I guess every racer we bring up, we gotta do a front flip. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, third time's the charm. I need more speed. Here we go. This is it. Land it, land it. Oh, look at that. Now I should probably look at what speed I'm hitting it, but I, I got a good idea. That was smooth. Besides the camera, it wasn't that smooth there. Like, it wasn't like this perfect. That was perfect. So that's how we get razors up there. Now, the only thing is, is as you can see here, not everything's, there's no real, it's not completely level. There's an edge to it. And I'm not just going to have like a, like, look at that. Like, this, this guy's like hiding behind a wall, basically. But what I got to do is, let's see if I can't, I might be able to just climb right up here. Let's see if we can't do this. Yes. 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 Come on. Okay, so I want to get it right in the corner. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's what I was wanting. Yeah. I wish I could... Hmm. I wonder... Okay, so I wonder if I could get the side wheel just completely on there. Because that would be kind of cool if I could. Yeah, come on. Come on. Get up there. Ah. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now I need... Oh, shoot. That's not good. Dude, my razor's stuck up there. And I can't get into it. Because when I go on the map, it's tough to find the exact razor. I mean, may wait. I might have it. Dope. Yep. We're leaving it like that. That looks sweet. That looks sweet up there. Okay, so now I need one more razor up there. Um, yes, we're getting the yellow one up here. Besides, I'm gonna front, I'm gonna front flip this again, too. Or wait, w did we do a back flip or front flip? Wait a sec. I keep saying front flip, I, I keep saying front flip, but no, did we, we did a back flip, we did a back flip. I'm an idiot. Here we go, first try with the black and yellow one. Let's do it. Come on. Land it, land it, land it, land it. Yeah! Oh, whoa. oh, shoot, dude. Oh, my gosh. We hit that hard. We hit hard. Holy smackerooey. Dude, oh, my gosh. Can I pull that out? Can I... Darn it, dude. We put a hole through the roof of my new shop, man. This was a $2 million shop, and I just put a hole through the roof of it. Now, we're good. Okay, I got it out. I was able to pull it out, but, man, that was cool. That was dope. That was dope. Okay, so the question is, is I could put the razor on this side, or... I gotta figure out what I want to do with this. There we go. Yeah. Let's have the wheel hang on. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Not that much. So right now I'm stuck. <laughs> and it does look kind of cool. Okay, maybe we... That looks pretty sweet, actually. I think I'm going to keep it like that. That looks pretty darn sweet. It almost looks, it looks like the shop's cut out just to put razors there. I think that looks sweet. Okay. The br <laughs> dude, that makes it look so much better. Look at that, dude. Love it. Next is the showroom. Now... I love this white razor we have, and we don't, we're don't we kind of running out of razors. So I think what I'm going to do is take... I love this F450 setup we have too, but I think I'm going to take away this razor, put it in the showroom. We're going to take it off. I mean, all these will technically go in the showroom overnight. There's not, It's not going to leave them out to get rained on overnight, get stolen or whatever. So they'll be taken in. But for the showroom, I'm just going to put a couple different razors 
And we need to get some, we do have some Yamahas in there. They're in the kind of the service area, but I'll, I'm going to put the camo Yamaha in here too. There we go. Nice. So I got to run to the service room. I want this camo one. Love it. You know what? I could probably drive this to the service room. Uh, no, I don't think I can actually. See him blending with the wall of that brick wall back there too. Okay, maybe no wheel turn for this. We'll just keep the wheel straight. There we go. Okay, we'll take a red one too and put a red one in there. I'm thinking. Now the thing is, is we need jet skis badly. I, I need some hitches on these razors and ATVs. That way we could pull a jet ski behind it. Like in the showroom or just like out front too. That'd be neat. There we go. I need to get dirt bikes yet too. I need a lot of stuff. Okay, and then what else do we sell? Okay, so I probably need, I got four seater. So basically I want to have one of everything. We got the four seater, got the Yamaha. We technically have two Yamahas. I should probably get a can am in here. We're not going to put a can am in there, but for sure we need a, uh, not one seater, but two seater. You see the razor. So if we're gonna go with the blue style on this, I need to customize this a little more yet. Cause this thing is slow, man. I don't think there's no way I can even get it up to the top there. Now you guys are gonna think this is a bit weird, but this is what I went with. I tried to almost make it a hunting color. It's got a little too much tan, so it kind of stands out a little bit. Probably should have went a little more darker green. I wanted tracks in there. We gotta have tracks in the showroom. So I kept this in, even though this doesn't look the best. Okay, we may be changing that up because that does not look good. That does not look good at all. Oh, why did I go with that? Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. So showroom's done. If I get jet skis, I'll put more in there. I, I feel like I could probably do a little better job organizing those though. So that's the Brop Shop. Looks nice. Looks good. Looks clean. I like those razors up top there too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm not sure what's going to happen next video. I have no idea what we're going to be doing at all. We may have some customers. We may have, I don't know. We have, uh, but we're getting the stuff done. Stuff's getting done. That's what I love. We're switching things up. So thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you guys later. If you're enjoying the content, you find yourself watching the channel a lot, seriously consider subscribing so you can be one of the first to view the video every time and get notified. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you later.